The Merc with a Mouth, everybody's favorite mutant. It may come as a surprise to some of you new comic book readers, but Deadpool really hasn't been around that long. In fact, he's a character that only came out in the 90s. One question that I often get, though, is with the character having so many different incarnations and so many different types of personalities and so many different types of runs, where is a good place to start? Well, today we're going to tackle this question, and today we are doing a deep dive into the character of Deadpool and where you can start reading him. First up on my list is his first appearance in New Mutants number 98. Now, buyer beware, this is a different kind of Deadpool than what you're more than likely used to. This Deadpool is more serious, he really didn't develop breaking the fourth wall yet, and he's not the cracking, fun-loving type of Deadpool that you usually enjoy. However, if you're looking for the first appearance of the character, this is it. Also, just a heads up, the writing in this not exactly the strongest. However, if you are looking for the very first appearance and the very first introduction of the character of Deadpool that would soon become the character that you do love, this is an essential pickup. This is really something that any Deadpool fan should have in their collection. Unfortunately, the prices of this issue have skyrocketed over the past few years because he's risen in popularity and because the movies. Next up on my list is Spider-Man Deadpool. I love Spider-Man Deadpool. This is such a fun little series, basically centering around the fact that Deadpool has kind of finessed his way into Spider-Man's life. He kind of comes into his apartment, cleans it up, things like that, and he hangs out with him. The thing is, Deadpool loves Spider-Man. Spider-Man doesn't really love Deadpool. In fact, he kind of hates him, but he gets along with him and he goes along with his scheme sometimes. It's a blast. I'm telling you right now, it's such a fun little series that I really wish it got more recognition. It's written by Joe Kelly, and Joe Kelly writes the hell out of this. He's got really good comedic timing, especially with Deadpool, and he crushes it. This is a must-pick-up for any fan out there who is a fan of either Spider-Man or Deadpool and has always thought, you know what? I really would like to see these characters team up and I'd like to see what would happen. You get that here. And it is great. Deadpool by Brian Posehn and Gary Duggan. Now if Posehn's name kind of sounds familiar to you, it should. He's been a comedian and he's been on the circuit for a while. Guy's hilarious. Really, you guys should check out his stand-up comedy. And Gary Duggan has been a writer that has been on the scene for a while as well. Now, when these two teamed up together in 2015, I never would have guessed they would have written one of the best Deadpool runs of all time. I love this run. It's great. And the reason behind the fact that it's great is that they give you a sympathetic Deadpool. Now, this doesn't mean that they water down the character where he's just crying the entire time or he's super sad and depressed the entire time. Far from it. There are a lot of hilarious bits in here and a lot of hilarious moments. But they make him the sad face clown and they make you feel bad for him and they make him sympathetic and you understand why Deadpool is the way that he is. One of my favorite arcs in here is the first arc involving dead presidents. It's hilarious. Basically what ends up happening is that a bunch of presidents have come back to life from the dead and Deadpool has to go and kill him. It's great stuff. I'm telling you right now, the comedic timing on this is sharp. He breaks the fourth wall all the time. This is really the Deadpool comic that you guys will probably get into the most, and this is the character that you know and love hands down. So if you ask most Deadpool fans what their favorite run on the character is, they'll probably tell you it's the Joe Kelly run. Joe Kelly back in the 90s took a bland DC knockoff character and turned him into the Deadpool that we know and love today. He introduced Breaking the Fourth Wall, he introduced a character that was more funny and more satirical. Not only that, but he filled Deadpool's world up with a lot of really cool and really interesting side characters. Characters like Weasel and Blind Al, the ones that you guys love from the films, those came out of Joe Kelly's run. Also, surprisingly enough, for a run that has a lot of comedy inside of it, there's one prevailing theme throughout the entire thing, and that is redemption. It's no secret that Deadpool has had a really bad past. In fact, he's a character that's haunted by it in this particular run. Joe Kelly really examines that and says, how far can a character fall and how much do they have to climb back up till they rise into prominence again? which really makes it more tragic every single time that he falls back down. I have to be honest, you end up rooting for this guy a lot because overall Deadpool just wants to be a good person in this series. 
There you have it guys, that is my Deadpool reading order. That is how you should start with the character, in my humble opinion. Guys, let me know down below in the comments section what your favorite Deadpool run is. And if you want, you could take a look down below in the comments section. I have links to all those books. You can order them, and guess what? Gives me a cut of the profit, doesn't take anything out of your wallet, takes it out of Amazon. I love you guys. Comment, like, subscribe. 